your drum master link. Hello. All right, continue on with our OnlyFans discussion here because my wife has suddenly developed a fascination to wanting to take her a modeling career to the next <laughs> level modeling and career. move on to OnlyFans. Um, I made a whole separate video about it. I try to be as analytical about it as possible uh, to kind of break down the pros and cons for her of you know, what really what it means to be OnlyFans, mainly because as a husband here, and you know, she came to me saying like, can you manage this for me? Can you help me get this off the ground? I have to separate some of my emotions from this because it's kind of a, I have to admit, it's a little bit conflicted. You know, at one point I'm like, you don't really need to do this. I think you have a bunch of other talents, but at the same time, I think that if she does get inspired to work hard at this, then, you know, being an entrepreneur and getting any business off the ground is a great step forward. So that's my take on it at this point. But the big question I have right now, because I had to do a little bit of research of OnlyFans myself, I wasn't really sure like you have to get naked or has OnlyFans gotten to be so mainstream that, you know, Bella Thorne and Cardi B, everyone's on it just to interact with their fans and be able to charge for that. So my question to you is, have you actually checked out any of these profiles on OnlyFans? Not yet. Remember I asked you one time, I wanted to do my research, so I would like to pay and check out one of you know only fans so i have an idea of what exactly do they post on it how do they make money how how can you keep your fans to subscribe <laughs> well i would say this right do, the general idea yeah, is the same do, on every social media platform. yeah do they another question is that do they do it professionally do they hire professional photographers because instagram obviously your photos has to be like really good right and um with only fans is it raw is it more of like you taking selfie of yourself and all that stuff okay so let's check out a couple of these in terms of seeing where the bar is mm -hmm. uh, there's this one gal here that we follow an asian gal who loves wearing bikinis and lingerie that's and that's kind of your thing okay mm -hmm. i get that <laughs> so um she has an only fans account and she also has a youtube account and for the most part her youtube account just posts a picture where uh it's pretty risque actually she wears pretty risque clothing which i think is a little bit dangerous for youtube mm -hmm. because YouTube is pretty strict about these things. You can get mm -hmm. demonetized right, right. or <laughs> your channel can get Ow. shut down. <laughs> well, that's why OnlyFans, a lot of girls are running to But that's why, fans. yeah. So she's on OnlyFans. What do you know? <laughs> so let's check it out here. Um, her account here, she's already posted about 145 times. I'm not sure how long she's been on. And her subscription is 16 bucks a month. So let's pay for it. You have an account here, Ludette? I'm going to hit subscribe here. <laughs> yes. All right, $16 a month. What are people getting? I think all of her pictures are unlocked. And ho, oh, she flat out flashes her, her boobies. 100% flashing those hoo-hahs. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. Clearly looks to me like she uh, is happy showing her goodies. And you know what? They do look real good. I would say her hoo-hahs are... No, she always has a good... Yeah, she's actually had a, has a really right. good body. So that's yeah. a big selling yeah. point. Are they natural nut? I don't know, but they look quite perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they look quite perfect. Her face is mostly cut off. Pictures of her with her face as well. Yeah, but not compared to other photos that's just half. So you notice she's not even doing it professionally. Like the photos are very... When it comes to building an audience, it's not the quality of the content, it's the closeness of the interaction. Yes, it's the whether interaction. or not you interact. If you aren't responding to people in comments on YouTube and interacting with building the fans, then how will we have got connected with so many amazing people on that platform who mm. we've met now in yes. person, who sent videos to us, who helped us get connected with some celebrities, like really cool people. Now, it could be one other thing here, a reason why she doesn't show her face with the body. You did bring something up and now I'm looking at it and I think there might be some interesting reason why. Why? Because of these That pictures, might not be her. <laughs> no, it's definitely her. No, I think she might be doing this because if these pictures got out and this is fully naked, you can't say it's her. It's just her body picture, so you <laughs> don't see clutter. her face. <laughs> and her clutter. She is wearing a full outfit. You see her face, she's never That's what fully I'm saying. nude. That's what I was trying to say, but my English is not that good. So if she is doing like fully naked, then no head. 
right? Hot bodies so in a hot tub. This is why it became controversy because a lot of girls are stealing these photos and create OnlyFans account because a lot of them are not doing faces. These girls are looking almost similar to their body type, their skin tone and all that just to make money on OnlyFans. Can you make a water print? Is that what? You mean watermark? Oh, watermark, sorry. You can. 20th, 18. So she's posting almost every single day. One, uh, one photo? At least one photo almost every single day. She's getting a couple of comments each. Eight. 10 and about 94 likes. It tells me that she minimally has about 100 subscribers. So mm. at 100 subscribers, this is where you're gonna 15 make bucks money. each, that's about 1600 bucks a month. Pay per view messages is what you're going to make. So in other words, you're gonna send custom nudies that's to right. people? Custom videos and all that. Fans would sometimes request. However, it's up to you. You can do that. You can tell your fans, say, I do custom, or you don't do that. It's your choice. It's your account. But with pay-per-view, you can make a video, for example, and you send it to all of your fans. You locked it with a prize. So it's up to your fans whether they want to see that and pay for that prize. Well, my sense is then you have to take it further than just wearing clothes in those custom pictures. Cause, the, yeah. Because who wants to pay right. That's additional right. money? That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're doing that already, All right, so then... my question to you is, you're willing to get naked for them? I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> because again, that can be all over the internet. Okay, on, on let's public. check out someone else here. Whoa. Uh, this is another gal. She is famous in the Twitch streaming world. She has a very big Twitch channel actually. So she also has Patreon, which is another platform where people can give her money and you know build a community around that. And she's quite big. She's definitely made a lot of money from this. And I see she's on OnlyFans right now. Now, from my understanding with her, is that she does a lot of suggestive videos and pictures, but she never actually goes outright nude. But I don't know for sure. Like I said, I don't pay for this stuff. Don't have to. <laughs> I can get ladies whenever I want. Her uh, monthly subscription right now is what's 30% off. Uh, let's see, 30% off. It's about $15 as well. So let's subscribe right now. It's on sale. So hey, it's a deal. All right, subscribe for $11 a month. Hey, OnlyFans take 20% of your profit, so. Hey, uh, newsflash, Luda. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you make mobile apps, doesn't matter if you make YouTube videos, somebody's taking a huge chunk of your That's right. money to begin with. Up to 20 to even 30% on some of these platforms. All right, let's see here what she's got posted up. She's really sexy. Yeah, she's definitely got a uh, kind really of bunch. Nice. I mean, she works yep. out a lot. Yep. So she posted up one, she pinned this one, August 26th, August 23rd, August 21st. So she doesn't post up every single day, but I think it's partly because she is on other platforms. She makes a lot more money on other ones. In fact, on her Patreon, she charges as much like 100 to 200 bucks a month. Whoa. Yeah, she charges a lot for this kind of Holy custom God. interaction. So her pictures- Well, because she puts a lot of effort, babe. She does a lot of um, costumes. Yeah, she does a lot of cosplay. Yeah. So there's a bit of a fantasy element here. Although I would right. say that's it for OnlyFans. Like if you aren't doing something that's more entertaining, like this other you know, Asian guy who wears a bikini, it's very low Limit effort. Little. Yeah. So with low effort, my guess is you're not gonna get as many subscribers and you're not gonna get- It's boring. Get, uh, it's, people are gonna subscribe at some point. Right. So let's see her, right? This is her latest one here. She has 521 likes. Wow. The other gal had- 94, less than 100. But again, 3, again, likes. look at the quality of her photos, videos. 1600 likes. Look at the quality of these. Wow. And it's not boring. She's very playful. Yeah. Let's see here. What are some of the comments that are in here? Dang, even like 1,000 likes. Wants to see more cosplay stuff. Yeah, she's big into cosplay. She's, so she's got a market corner that she's already built up before. People say, I found you on Twitch. Saw your Tracer cosplay. She has a lot of fans already. Mm -hmm. She has Twitch. She has yeah. other a lot of fans. Platforms. So there you go. She doesn't look like she posts any nudes Naked, up. Yeah. But uh, she does post up videos that are very, very suggestive. Yeah. She wears pasties on her breasts. She's playing with herself. 
playing with their hoo ha. No, no, not with the hoo ha. So there you go. <laughs> that gives you a sense. Two different people, one a little bit more mainstream. And from what I, what I heard, there's another YouTuber who actually does full on. Like, so yeah, there's, there's definitely people out there who are willing to go all the way for the dollars. So I think you have to be, one is, I'm gonna reemphasize this. If the only reason you're doing this is because of the money, if you were to calculate this out in the long run, I don't think the money is there. Unless you are willing to build it up like this gal here, who's made this a career and she does this every day. When she's on Twitch, she's on eight hours to 10 hours online every single day. She understands the technology. She understands the cosplay. She plays games. She knows what it takes to build a fan base. Right. So if you want to experiment with OnlyFans, but I'm telling but you, if again, you want to have a long-term career online as social media, you have to dedicate yourself to it. Right. You really have to. You know? Yeah. This is hard work. Don't judge women that are on OnlyFans. Just don't. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to think about this. <laughs>